Today I'm trying a blackhead tweezer. I've been obsessed with the close-up videos of these that have been going viral lately and it claims to help remove blackheads with ease like a professional does. I'm always looking for a solution for blackheads and clogged pores because as we've seen, I have plenty of them. According to dermatologist Marissa Garshik, the best way to prepare for extractions is first and foremost, making sure that the skin is clean and making sure all of your makeup is removed and then also wiping the face down with alcohol. Um, so you want to make sure you reduce the chance of infection. There is some talk about things that can make the extraction process easier. And so for some people, this can include doing steam. I literally just got out of the shower and I'm not even going to brush my hair or take it out of the towel because I want to do this right away because my pores have just been steamed. So let's get started. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am having a bit of a hard time getting anything out. I've had this blackhead right here on my nose for probably eight years plus. It never goes away. So if I can finally find something that gets it out, I'll be, I'll like bury this with me, okay? It is not moving. <laughs> so I got something. I'm not sure where it came from. I'm still having a really hard time getting anything out. Maybe I'm still not steamed enough, so I'm gonna go steam my face again. Good night, taking a nap now. Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm sweating. Now I'm gonna sprint to the tool. Okay, not sprint, a light jog, a fast walk. really frustrating because it's like doesn't feel great and I feel like I'm just like you know making my nose really red and I'm gonna have like bruises and I might be popping blood vessels and nothing's coming out <laughs> I was expecting so much because usually when I like squeeze my nose or use like a loop extractor stuff comes out but with this nothing I'm a little bit disappointed that the blackhead tweezer didn't work for me, but I'm wondering if it'll work better for someone else or if it's just best for professional use. We definitely prefer to avoid using these types of devices at home because when you use them at home, the risk of potential injury and worsening of the skin actually is quite high, which can not just lead to a a breakout, but actually even in worst case scenario, worsening scarring. In the befores, uh, you do see some areas where you see something plugging up some of the pores. And so there is, for lack of a better term, a little bit of buildup, oil, debris. And then in the afters, while you do still see that in some situations, it is possible that it is reduced. Um, and that's what we would expect to see with these types of tools. So sometimes the amount that you actually get out is not necessarily clinically apparent, meaning when you're looking at your skin without a microscope or without sort of a magnifying glass type of device, it can be sometimes hard to visualize any type of changes. It often requires a very sort of precise placement of the tweezer within the pore in order to kind of easily capture the, the material that's inside and, and get it out. And for that reason, it is a tool that I do think in the hands of an esthetician or a dermatologist, based on just the angle that they're able to get at, may be more successful. 